Praise the Lord, everyone. I want to share uh, the Word of God with you today that's been deposited in my spirit. I want to encourage you to tell your testimony to others, share the goodness of God, declare the works of God. I want to encourage you uh, to be the salt of the earth, to be the light, to be a witness. I want to encourage you to bid people to come and to um, proclaim the word of God. Proclaim it over your home, over your family. Proclaim it over your neighbors, your community, your church. And more than anything, prayer will will really, really, really break chains and move. That When you begin to pray and intercede for the lost, the Spirit will bid them to come. And right now, the Spirit's bidding the lost to come. And Jesus lifted up his voice and he said, All ye that are thirsty, come and drink of the living water and you'll never thirst again. He said, All them that are hungry, all ye that are hungry, come and eat of the bread of life. It's words of eternal life. We don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And so uh, I, I want to uh, share with you, you know, when you're a son of God and a daughter of God, you have a mandate on your life and you have a commission. And Jesus gave us the great commission to proclaim the gospel in the name of Jesus and to go out and to share it. And so I want to encourage you to exercise evangelism and to share the word of God. And if you have nothing else to say um, like maybe a word or a message, you can give your testimony. And we try up by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. And it's declaring the wonderful works of God. We're never to sit on a testimony. Uh, we're to share these things and uplift the Lord and magnify Him. And that's when other people want to come to God, when they see how He's moved in your life and how you're a witness of the power of God and how they have saw how you've changed and how you've God's moved. And um, I just want to encourage you. Uh, one story that sticks out to me is the woman at the well. You know, the Bible says that she went to that old well to draw natural water, but she left with a river in her soul and she didn't leave how she came. Come on, somebody. But she left changed because she had an encounter with Jesus Christ. She had a revelation. Come on, somebody. And Jesus began to minister to her. And uh, she left her water pot at that old well. And she left what she even came there looking for in the natural. She left with that river in her soul. And she said, come see a man. Is this not the Christ, the Son of the living God? And because of her testimony, Jesus went and abode with the Samaritans for two days. And uh, I, there's power and sharing the things of God. And so uh, I think about how uh, Andrew um, went and told Peter in the book of John. He said, come, this is the Messiah. And so uh, Peter began to... Uh, to follow Jesus. And then I began to think about John the Baptist. It said that he was a witness uh, of the light. He was not the light. He was not Jesus Christ. Many got Jesus and John mixed up, but um, he said, I am not the, the Messiah. I'm not the light. I'm a witness of the light. So not only was John the Baptist a living witness for Jesus Christ, he was a voice in the wilderness. Come on, somebody. So be a voice for the Lord and be the light. And because John the Baptist lifted up the Lord, many began to follow Jesus. And he was that forerunner for Christ. And the two of the disciples in the book of John began to follow Jesus. Because John said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Jesus said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw on men. And that's what uh, these disciples did. Uh, when you read in the ministry of Jesus, they lifted up the Lord. Uh, I began to think about... Philip, how Philip went and got Nathaniel, and he said, come, come see a man. Uh, is this not Jesus? Is this not the one that uh, Isaiah prophesied about? And uh, so Jesus comes, and he tells Nathaniel, I saw you when you were under the fig tree. And Nathaniel believed on the Lord, and he said, because you believe this, you'll see even greater things. Come on, somebody. And I just praise the Lord today. I know uh, somebody witnessed to me, and the Lord uh, began to move in my life because someone shared the gospel with me. So I want to encourage you to bid the lost to come. Paul said in Corinthians that we're ambassadors for Christ. We speak for Christ. We represent Christ. And uh, so sanctify the Lord God in your heart. Be ready at all times to give every man an answer of hope that is in you with fear and trembling. We got to be sanctified vessel and we also got to have fear and trembling because we're dealing with souls and we don't want blood on our hands. 
and we want to lift up the Lord. So I want to encourage you today. I think of the song that Josh Bowman wrote. It says, come see a man, come see a man, this man named Jesus Christ. He, um, turns he turns the water into wine he gave sight back to the blind he's the water and the bread he has the power to raise the dead come on somebody when we lift up the lord and we declare the word of god it draws the lost in come on somebody and when when, when they see the change in us hallelujah they saw the change in the woman at the well she was rejected she had five husbands and the one that she was with wasn't her husband but there's a difference she got in the presence of God. She had an encounter with him and it changed her life. When the Lord changes our life, he changes everything about us, our demeanor, the way we look, the light of the Lord, the counsel of God shines down upon us. And then I begin to think about how he gives us a new name, a new identity. And people can see that change in us. So bid the lost to come. Bid people to come. Invite people to church. Pray for the lost souls. The Holy Spirit is bidding souls to come. Come and drink of the living water. And uh, so it's harvest time. The harvest is plenteous, but the labors are few. And your prayers can reach heaven and your prayers can make a difference. So pray for lost loved ones. And I want to challenge you and encourage you to bid the lost to come. Come see a man, this man named Jesus Christ. God bless you.